My first guest is former banker and economist Thomas McAuliffe. Mr. McAuliffe is the author of Debt Bum and the Savings Pool. My other guest is Dr. Emmanuel Ebway. Professor Ebway is an associate professor of economics and business statistics and acting dean of the School of Business at Medgar Evers College of the City University of New York. The push-pull nature of this economy rewards some, but puts a lot more at risk. While the economy has been touted as as good as it gets, the new wealth and benefits escaped a large portion of the nation. Some even say that the so-called economic boom is essentially an illusion driven by debt. And although the illusionist David Copperfield made the Statue of Liberty disappear on television, it never moved from the New York Harbor. In other words, consumers are fueling a robust economy with record debt, with trillions left in outstanding balances. Family bankruptcy hit one million American families last year, a record high, and delinquencies are higher now than at the end of the 80s. While the annual deficit has been shrunk and the media follows the politicians as they make the claim, the federal debt is larger now than it has ever been, and the law of compound interest has not been repealed. And tragically, one man says, this federal and personal debt and their inflationary consequences march toward a certain and destructive outcome. It will, he says, add to the breakup of families, trigger crime and violence, exacerbate the drug plague, and add to the growth of hatred and racism. In an unpublished manuscript, The Debt Bum and Savings Pool, Arthur Thomas McAuliffe, explains how debt is driving all that's going wrong with this nation. The former banker and economist says that America is dangerously approaching economic catastrophe, while our public officials and bankers say the economy is fine, characterizing press and media assessments of the economy as, quote, wholesale ignorance and, quote, cavalier indifference. McAuliffe warns that it is critical that we get the issue of debt and its consequences on the table for serious discussion. I'm Tony Brown. In a moment, the debt bomb.